All right, another compressor was changed. I just came here, did not know about it, and I asked about the oil, did not know about the oil, and then brought me over to the box, and I went to check for oil. A little bit of oil came out. This is it. I mean, that's like um, maybe one quarter of an ounce. Maybe, what would you say, um, 10 milliliters. That's about all that is. That's the only oil that came out of the compressor. Uh, it's relatively clean. It just has a little uh, dye in it. There's no particles. Now that's a little black. You see how dark that is? You see that gray color? See that's more of a silver color inside. See down in there? And that one has gray because it started to overheat. So no particles, but it did start to overheat and run hot by being low on refrigerant. So he says it was making a little noise. Uh, that was probably because it was a lack of oil and it was very low on refrigerant, but he replaced the compressor anyway, so that's good. He replaced the receiver dryer. That's good. Let's look inside the receiver dryer. Let's see. See how black that is in there? Let's see if I can zero in on that. Come on, focus. Give me some focus. Come on. Okay. You see how black that is? Inside those holes, it's supposed to be bright, shiny silver. That is from the overheating compressor. And why was the compressor overheating? Lack of refrigerant because it ran low. Why is there no oil in here? No, it did not leak out. There was so little refrigerant. Like I always tell you, the refrigerant comes in. It's an excellent solvent. It picks up the oil. It pushes the oil out the discharge, but it doesn't come back to the compressor. So all the oil in the system is still in, in the system. Nothing got lost through the compressor. Uh, let's see. It looks like he changed the expansion valve. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Hmm. Looks like it's still in the bag. Bought the expansion valve, but didn't change the expansion valve. Hmm. Okay. And, uh, if this was the old expansion valve, what you would see is down here in the small hole, the discharge liquid line coming in, you would see it be all black. Because you've seen how you had the black inside there, the black inside the receiver dryer and you would have black showing in the expansion valve and that's the aluminum metal flake burnt oil kind of thing uh, oxide residue that builds up and so that takes care of that old truck and another old truck okay There's the receiver dryer. He put a new O-ring on, new O-rings, and a uh, new compressor down there. I put in about just one ounce of oil because I know all the oil is stuffed up. It has two, uh, now this is a dual system. You see this pipe right there? And then you see that other pipe that is tapped into in a T right there? Because it has two evaporators. So all the oil is stuck up in this evaporator stuck in a rear evaporator and these lines that come down here way low when you let run low on refrigerant you just have a lot of vapor low mass low velocity it can't pick the oil up and out of there because it has to travel back up the frame where it'll come back up to make it over to the compressor so if i was to cut the line and then tilt the line out a bunch of oil would come pouring out and um that's about it on this one i'm about to uh I'm gonna charge it up and uh, we'll see what we find. All right, see you guys.